I am going to show you now how to obtain the transfer function of a system in an automated way using the bond graph modeling technique. We see a circuit that you see on the screen right now, a simple circuit. We're going to make the bond graph model of that circuit, and then we're going to use the CAMG software to be able to obtain the transfer function of the voltage C in relationship to the input voltage. That's our objective. So right now, we're going to close this, and we say, OK. The way we model this in, uh, in using this technique is we follow some, some steps in here. Um, the first thing we're going to do is, is to, to use a one junction for the current. So we use the symbol to signify the, the current that we have in here the I in there, okay? And then we put the elements that are attached to this current. So uh, let's write down and so, so that those steps are very well defined and uh, you can remember them later on. Right, so we're gonna say steps. I like steps in here. So one, one. See, we for making the obviously use use a one junction for each distinct. This is for the electrical circuits, okay? Current. That's what we just did. Then you could say attach the elements that experience that current. Step number three. So we attach them with the bonds right here. In this case, you have. This is a, we make a little picture signifying our source of effort, this voltage in here. And attached to this is the R element with value R, whatever it is. Then we have the C element in here with value, you know, C. And then on the bottom one, this is the I element with the value of the inductor. So we attach the elements as they experience on the current. You can say, in this case, we don't have a relative currents. You could say, if relative, uh, if elements, elements see the difference in currents I will not see experience here we use zero junctions and then you will say enter the bond graph in CAMG. And fifth, let CAMG find the transfer function. Isn't that simple? This is the idea. So I am going to do exactly what I just said here. I'm just going to go on the with my bone graph model in here. And I am going to let the computer do something. Let me just move it a little so that 
you can actually see it. Okay, very good. I am here. So I am going to go here and say File, New. And then I am going to actually draw this little picture in the on the screen. And the order in which you enter the elements is not important. I could just do first the SE and then put the one next like this. And you say this connection is from here to here. Then I put the element uh, R element at the top in here. The connection is from the one to the R. Then I put the C element which signifies the capacitor. Same thing, I keep connecting this. And then I connect it like that, yeah? One thing that we need to uh, keep in mind is the computer assigned these numbers. And using this picture, we should be able to recognize what the what the elements are and what, what the voltages are. Just to, to, so that we have a, you say a record of what we're doing, I am going to, to go ahead and do a couple of things. First of all, I want a picture of my graphing here so I am going to put that into my notes that I'm doing. My notes are over here. So what we entered on the computer was this, right? So what I'm trying to say is now, you need to read this picture. Like in this case, C is for this C. The variable E3 is the voltage of C. And the variable E1 is the is voltage V here. The, the variable R2 is this R, and the variable I4 is this L. Having said that, I am going to go in here and I say, OK, look, what I really want is that you interface with MATLAB in, in any way you can. and Tell me, uh, you know, give me the this model in such a way that MATLAB can find me the transfer function. In other words, CAMG is going to create a MATLAB input file that, or set of files, and the two programs connect with each other. You don't have to be restarting MATLAB or anything like that. They are automatically linked. And so when, when you have this connection in here, you, you get immediately the results. Now you are in the MATLAB environment. Now we need to learn to read this. CAMG produced these four files, yeah? This CAMG mod is stands for model file. That's the file where you put the values. This CAMG Q is the equations file. This CAMG is the symbolic file, CAMG SYM. CAMG num is the numeric file. For the purposes that we want, we're going to look at CAMG num. CAMG num file. And in here, we need to define what the output is because Without that, we we cannot uh, we cannot do it. So we're gonna say find. I told you it was e sub three is what we want as the output. So the computer went and found it where it was. It has see this question marks in MATLAB also. This uh, percentage signs make as if this would be common. So we need to. Let the computer know this is my first output. And uh, it's going to 
the using the state space form, I am going to use uh, the first row of the matrix C and D to find the transfer function. Uh, in this case, even if you haven't reviewed the state space form, that should not be a problem because right now you're going to say to the system, find the transfer function here. There is one thing that I saw on the MATLAB uh, in this new version. One of these two statements doesn't quite work or they have changed, but let's experience, let's see what it does. So I told, I asked, I asked the system what the output, I specify the output, the computer gave me the, the state variables, what the output is, and so it keeps going in here, and it says, just remember that statement that I told you, uh, the new version doesn't like the simple, but simplify I think is the one that, that so we might have to, yeah right there. It doesn't like it. This this no longer is active on the on the new version. So let's just do it again. See, we run it again. And sure enough, it gives me the transfer function. See? But this time automatically. So if, if, you, if you want to have it like we did before, we need to put the numbers. But you see in symbolic form, it gave me 1 over C. This is C times L. And this R times C plus 1, exactly as we had it before. But in here, what I can do is I could come into the file and put some numbers in here. And the, the computer will will actually do the calculations for me in numeric form. So I need to activate this two to put the numbers. This was a one, right? This was a C was C was one two. Which one was the one that was 0.5? R was 0.5. And I was what? This was one. Okay. So now if I do it in numeric form, yeah, I do it again. See now I have the transfer function in numeric form in there. And now if I press it in here, the computer is going to go automatically and obtain the step and impulse response. In fact, there is one. You see the step and impulse, res impulse response right there, automatically. So that's the other method, is the automated method. As you can see, we get the exact same answer, but we didn't have to derive any differential equation, nor apply the Laplace transform because all that is in the computer program. The, you know, ChemG and MATLAB uh, do the handshake in such a way that that everything that ChemG directs is already in, the, in that uh, form. So that's how you do it.